Hey guys, it's Nellie from Bee Planner Happy. Today we are continuing in my work planner for September. We've done the dashboard page, we've done the daily task pages, and today we're gonna do the these little note pages. Um, I use them as sort of a business journal. So just anything that happens during the month that I wanna remember, um, I'll write it in here. We're using, continuing to use the Miss Maker stickers from Happy Planner. So let's go ahead and get this started. Uh, <clears throat> so I wasn't too sure. Oh, I should clean this first for my cats have been up here. Okay. I wasn't too sure how I'm going to do this. I'm still not too sure, but I'm just going to go with it. I was trying to come up with a cool idea. I really wanted to use these stickers. Um, so what I'm thinking of doing is I grabbed this washi and i'm just gonna get started let's see over here we did the black and then the blue so that's what we're going to start with over here that way when i turn the page it'll look somewhat cohesive even though this blue is slightly different i'm okay with that and i'm going to do it a little bit lower like this one was on top of the black line i want this one on the bottom of the black line even though it's like a little dark thing right there i don't know why that's there and how did i do it the black first and then the blue so i'm just gonna get started but let's go ahead and wipe this out right here. Okay, just like that. And you know, I was searching to see if I could get some kind of inspiration for how uh, people have used these. I couldn't find anything, nothing, nothing, nothing. I looked on um, Instagram, I looked on Pinterest, I looked in my, um, my planner groups and I could not find um, anything with these stickers. So I guess, I guess, I don't know, I guess I'll be the one to figure out a way to use them all together. And I hope it doesn't look horrible, but <laughs> I mean, it's just a planner page, so it can't look that bad. It will look cute. And I like their sayings. So these pages, I don't know if you guys, whoever here, that's watching uses the, the monthly layout. How do you use these pages? Oh, I didn't get all the way, but that's okay. Um, I'm just curious, like I use them like a little journal um, and I was wondering how everybody else uses them. And you know, I started using them, at first I was using them for my stats, but then I started using this page for stats. So, and I like that better. And then I was like, you know what? I could do like a little journal. And that's really kind of fun. <clears throat> and it's kind of neat to go back on the months and read what I was excited about or um, what I had, you know, planned on doing or whatever. So that's been kind of fun. Okay. <clears throat> so I want to start with, let's start with this one. And it's going to go right here, just like this. I want that corner and this corner like that. Planning is my superpower. And I might regret using these just because anything with foil uh, is so hard to photograph. <clears throat> but it looks really pretty in person. So this one, I want it to look the same, kind of the same angle. Just like that, right? Close enough. Will work for craft supplies. Okay, we're starting like this. Now, the next one, I want to do eat, sleep, craft, repeat. And this one's gonna go right here. And then I need to, oh wait, did I do that wrong? I did, but that's okay. So planning and my superpower is gonna go down here. We'll work for craft supplies over here. And then, so this one also has to be eat, sleep, craft, repeat. That's okay. Oh no, there's another one. There's, it's a crafty kind of day. Okay, that works for me. So I'm gonna put it on the same line and I kinda wanna mirror the, amount of, does that look about right? That's about right. The amount of, eh, this one looks a little more, huh? I guess I could have measured it. Am I getting too picky? A little bit. Let's do like that. Because I just kind of want it to match. Okay. Then this one is going to go here. Do I want it like that straight? You know what? I think I want it straight. That's kind of cute, right? And I'm just going to do it like just off of the edge. But I wonder if I should do the washi first. 
yeah, let's do the washi first for this one because I want it to go like this one went all the way to the edge. Or maybe I should just cut that off. Yeah, let's just do like this. Oh, I did the wrong one. Crap. This one goes over here. Planning is my superpower. So this one goes here. I would say decorating my planner is my superpower, not planning. <laughs> I mean, I do plan stuff, but you know what? It's the follow through that matters. Okay, so we're starting with those. Then I want to do this and I want it to go across. I think I want it to go across this one right here. Or where's the middle? I think I want it to go right here. Let's do that one. And it's going to stop right here. I'll cut that. And then let's see, which one was I using? This one? And then, so it's, which line is it? It's not this one. It's this line right here, right? Let's put it here. Hope everybody had a nice Labor Day weekend. I did. My husband and I, we're, you know, our kids recently moved out. And um, so we're getting, redoing one of the guest bedrooms or one of the, the guest bedroom. And we needed to repaint. And I t tore off a little bit of the paint because we didn't have the paint can anymore. And I went to Home Depot and they matched the color. And I was so shocked. Okay, I think we want pink and purple. Or should we just do matchy matchy? I don't know. I'm gonna try the pink and the purple. And then we'll add the other decorations and then we'll decide if that's the way we like it. Anyway, I was shocked. I really did not have high hopes that when we came home and you know painted just a little bit to test it and see, it actually worked. I mean, it was like an exact match and I was so excited because now we don't have to paint the whole entire room, just the parts that are kind of, you know, scuffed up and stuff. So in case you didn't know that, you might have known that, but it was actually super accurate and it worked good. Okay, back to planning. So this one I want to do, since we've got that nice big line there, I'm thinking I'm going to do it right above this one. Or do I want it lower? Let me see how low this is. Or maybe like right here. Yeah, that's better. Let's see. So it'll be the purple. Let's see how that looks. Is that enough? Yeah, I think that's good. All right. So we're lining it up with the second to last line. Going straight across. What's neat about these journal pages is you can also do this like in your creative journal, um, just on your regular, you know, notebook paper or whatever. Um, so feel free to use this kind of layout with a few boxes. And really these are just, you know, they could be fall boxes or some other kind of boxes. It's just I had them and I really wanted to use them. Okay, so let's do the purple. Which I'll think so far. I think I think it's looking pretty good. It's kind of what I had envisioned. And then I'm gonna add some other stuff. Okay. So that's that. I do kind of want it to say something up there but I really want to use all of these really really cute things here so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do like little elements of decoration on the sides right so definitely have to have one of these super cute sticker books where do I want that I want that one there and then this is cute this is like the little punch and it's got those cute colors in it do I, no, I don't want it facing the exact same way let's try oh I like those little hearts up there that's cute and then let's do something along the bottom how about I'm gonna save the purple for down here how about we do let's do this this little pen here I think I'm gonna do a pen and a washi. There's a pen and here's a little purple washi, the washi. Okay, that's 
so cute. Now let's do the same over here. I want to use, let's use this big punch like this. The punch, you can do both punches, huh? Like that. Let's do them like this. And then something in between. Let's try what I want to do in between. Well, this one's different, but the same. So let's put this one here. I felt like it needed to go lower. Let's put this one like right there. And then let's do these little washies. Oh, my paper came off. Let's do those little washies right there. Okay. I'm going to do something over here. Oh, I love this. Let's do this big... Um, big sewing machine that goes perfectly there whoa okay and then let's do the pins because it's a sewing machine <gasps> that's so cute and then let's do the scissors let's do the green scissors they match the best I think oh my gosh that's cute yes okay so let's do I think we need one definitely need something here and we need something over here. So over here, let's go ahead and put this, since it's big, the punch. Since we did that big one over there. Let's do the punch. And we've got a sticker book here, so let's have a sticker book over here. Do we like the pink? I think the purple will look better. Let's use the purple, that one's this way, so let's put this one that way. And then let's put a little couple of these little discs. One, two, and then there's another one, a little yellow one. One, two, three. That's so cute. How about a heart? Let's do a heart, a hot pink heart. Yes, because we love discs. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this so far. Okay, so I feel like we need something like, I don't know, Oh, maybe the girl, the girl and, I know what, the girl and, ooh, this, is that too big? Kind of looks big. Let's see if there's a smaller one. Hmm. See, there's that one, which I could cut out. Oh, there's this one. I could cut one of these out. Since she's paper, I'm thinking it might look better, but it's it might look washed out too, huh? Let me just try. Let me see how she looks on here. See if I even like how she looks. I have to cut the bottom. Maybe a little more. Oh, I just tore her. Nice, Nellie. How did I do that? And you can't tell. Oh, I don't like that thing's in over that. Let's see. And then I feel like if I put that big one, it'll just look like not right. You know what I mean? Let me just see. Because I might just take her off because this is really cute, but it might be too big right here. Actually, I like that better, I think. Yeah, I think. I'm sorry, Miss Maker. I will use you maybe on another page. I wish she was like clearer and more vibrant. That's what I wish. All right, so this one's gonna go right here. I'm gonna cut some of this off here. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this. I just like, I mean, clear stickers. Sometimes, you know, it's really good to have a paper sticker because you don't wanna see what's behind it. But the clear stickers really are just usually um, more vibrant, you know, the colors anyway. Okay, so now I need something kind of biggish here. I do love this planner, so we definitely need the planner. Let's use this huge planner here. That's going that way, so let's go this way. The planner, what have not, we have not used, oh, these are cute, nice and big. Roll a washi right next to it. 
Oh, I'm going to definitely have some pens. You can't do any planning without some really good pens and markers. I mean, you can, but who would want to? There. And then we need scissors. Do I like it like that? Oh, I tore that up. Hmm. What am I not liking here? Maybe this one's too big. Oh, I guess I'm putting it there. Let's try another washi here. I don't think this one needs to go here. All right, let me stand back and look at it for a minute. What do we need here? Let's do it like this. And then something here. We've got that. What else is here that would go good there? A sticker book? I kind of want to do another sticker book, and I think this scissors is the one that's like not really working for me. So, let's see. Oh, we got the pencil too. Who uses a pencil in their planner, not me? Well, you know what? I kind of like that right there. Okay, so here we need, we can do the decorative scissors. Those are kind of fun, and they match good. And then, I know there was something I saw. What was it? Oh, the sticker book. Let's do the pink sticker book. Whoop. All right, doesn't fit. Let's do it like this. Sticker book and the scissors next to it going straight up. Okay, that's about the same amount of space. And that's really cute. Now, I'm not liking this space here, but once the planner is there, I think it'll be okay. Should we add something here? I kind of wanted to do like colors, um, highlighters, you know? Well, let me see. Oh, you know what was here that I thought about using? Where was it? This one. I'm just curious. I'm just going to try it and see. Just to give it a little more. Oh, you know what? This can go in the middle. That's where this is going. Yep, that's going to go there. I wish I would have thought of that first. But I think that's going to work really good there. I need to come and cut it. It's kind of neat how it went from blue to pink, sort of how we have the, um, you know, these. I'll cut, I'll cut that in a second. Let me turn this over and cut it like this. Oh. Keep it straight. I see I didn't line up my paper very good. But that's all right. And then here, I'm going to cut this because I don't want it to go all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to go right there. And then this one's the same. But I'm thinking, I'm going to see if I've got more of that because I kind of want it to go across the top and the bottom, but just not on the on the washi. You know what I mean? Ooh, that, that definitely helps. I like that. Okay. I wonder if you can see that, how pretty that looks. Okay, so let's try this across the top. If I can get it off. And usually up here, like I would write notes somewhere. You know what I mean? I do kind of like that. I think that's, whoa, kind of pretty. No. I kind of want to add it everywhere. I don't know. Like here. Like that. How's that look? I don't know. Maybe. All right, let's just do this. This one's got some white on it. I'm going to start with the blue. And then I'll start with the blue over here. And I'm just going to do like this. And I'm going to cut it. Oh. Cut it there. And I'm going to use these pieces elsewhere. This has been like a really good challenge just to stick to the Miss Maker sticker books. I kind of liked it. So let's put this here. Like that. Oh, it fit perfectly, but I don't want it to go over the 
the washi. Kind of want the washi to go over it like that. This one can actually just stop right here. That's cute. And I could put a little bit up there, but I'm not going to worry about it. Maybe I'll use this to do that. So let's go ahead and use this one. And you see the blue to pink, so I'm going to go the same way. I'm going to go this way. The blue to pink, like this. There we go. And then I'm going to cut it right here. And I'm going to cut this skinny piece. Like that. And I'm considering going back to using gel nail polish. <laughs> Just so I don't have to do my own nails. I don't know. I'm really just torn about it because it's so dang expensive. How much do you guys pay for gel? Like the place that I like to go to is $45 for a gel manicure, which I just find too expensive. I don't want to spend $45. And then you got a tip on top of that, or at least I like to tip on top of that. So you're talking at least $50. And if I want a French manicure, which is what I really like to get, that's they charge extra for that. I don't know. I wouldn't mind if I could find a place that does it for like $25, you know, $30, but $45 starting out for a manicure. It's just, I don't know, I find that to be a bit ridiculous. So I'm curious, what do you guys pay the ones that get their nails done? Is it is it that expensive or is that just here? Let me do this. So I want it to go over. And now that my you know, my nails are on camera all the time. It's like I just want them to look nice and I don't want to have to worry about it. I want to go somewhere and let them worry about it. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. All right. That looks more festive. I like that. Um, do we want any across the bottom? I kind of feel like it needs it, huh? Let's see. I think there's another page here. I'm pretty sure I've got a page of that. Here it is. All right, so let's just do the same thing. Oh, I just tore it. And let's do, it looks like the blue to the pink up top. So I'm just gonna do the same thing here. And this one's gonna use less. So I can probably just use this one piece for both. Just like that. Oh, cut it. Like that. This one. Okay. And I think that's pretty good. I did want to do like the highlighting, you know? Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to do it this way because if I want the blue on this side, it's going to have to go like that. I don't want that. I'm going to use the other piece. Go across here. To in the middle. All right. And then after this video, actually, I don't even know what time it is. I got to go. I got to take my mom. To Pensacola to pick something up. We'll probably go to Michael's, even though neither one of us has any business buying any more sticker books or anything planner related. <laughs> we have enough, but you know, you always just want to go and see what they got because what if they've got something like a really good deal? Which I just got the Midnight Botanicals ones on um, at for seven dollars. The one that I used for my checklist layout. You know what? I'm going to add this little bit here just because it's kind of bugging me that there's nothing. So I'm going to do like that right there. Probably wouldn't have been a whole lot easier had I just put this down first. And I had thought about it, but I just wasn't sure if I wanted to use it. But now I'm sure. And I really like how it looks. Because it kind of brings in the foil from, you know, from these to everything else. And that looks pretty good. All right, where else am I missing? I guess down these two sides. Here, I got it. Might as well use it. I'm not going to use these little pieces anywhere else, I don't think. So I just do like that. 
And I think I can use this piece on the other side too. Get that right there. And then this piece can come over here. I don't want the hair on it. It's like barely anything there. It's the details. And this is definitely details. Details make all the difference in these pretty spreads. Okay, I like that. So we need along the bottom here, just some of this. That one barely has anything left on it. A few little polka dots. Let's see. Put those right there. It's okay that that overlaps a little bit. And then there was one more. Just this bit. Oh, this one's already cut. Let me get this one. All right. And then let's do this piece right here. Okay. So, of those of you that use the monthly layout, what do you use it for? Is it just like your everyday planner? Your work planner? Just curious. What is making noise? Okay, that was freaky. <laughs> you guys, you hear it? My grandmother gave me this. It just started playing all by itself. That's freaking me out a little bit. But if it's my grandma, I love you. <laughs> she passed away a couple years ago. That was so weird. Why did that just start playing? Oh my gosh. Okay. Get it together. Um, let's do this. Oh, I have it wrong. It's this way. That was weird. Oh my God. Why did that? It's just, I'm, I've had that for years. It's just been sitting there. I've not touched it. And it just started playing all of a sudden. is pretty crazy. Okay. I'm a little freaked out. <laughs> Let's see how this looks in here. Um, for the pictures, I'm going to take it off of, you know, these big humongous rings because I just don't think they're very attractive. But this is how it looks. And I like it. Get ready for all of my little journal entries. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the idea of how to use these boxes. I could add some more stuff. I might add some more stuff. I tend to do that after the videos are done. Like this one, I added, you know, a few little embellishments here and there. Um, but for right now, this, I think this looks pretty good and I hope you, um, you like it and you subscribe and all that stuff. And you know, how about that, that I had a little message from my grandma. <laughs> that was neat. All right. Well, see you guys in the next video. Bye.